What up folks, it's Alex here. I hope you're doing well and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now if you didn't already know, DaVinci Resolve 16.2 is out. It's available to you to download right now. And there's also something else which you can download along with that, and that is the Blackmagic Fairlight Sound Library. Now the Sound Library is completely free and it contains over 500 royalty free sound effects that can be used for personal and commercial projects. But they're not sort of whip or transition sound effects, they're Foley sound effects. Now if you don't know what Foley sound effects are, they're sound effects from real life. Things like footsteps or the creaking of a door or knocking on a window. They sound a little something like this. But what would you want to use those in your project? Let's say you recorded a project in slow motion and you didn't record much audio. You can use these sound effects to just add that audio back in and really build up the sound design. So, in this video, I'm going to show you where to download the pack, how to install it, and then how to access the sound effects within DaVinci Resolve. So, let's get to it. So, first thing you need to do, head over to this website here. It's blackmagicdesign.com forward slash support. Now, there is a link down in the description below. You can click that instead. And then from this screen here, if you scroll down, you should see latest downloads. And there's a list of all the latest downloads within there. Scroll down, depending on when you're viewing this. The original version was released on the 6th of March 2020. There's the Blackmagic Fairlight Sounds Library version 1.0. Available for Mac, Windows and Linux. So just download the version you need. I'm going to download Windows. You have to fill out all of this and agree to the license, which I'll just do now. And then you can register and download. As you can see, it is a .zip file, so you just need to unpack the file before you can install it. Once it's downloaded, open up your downloads folder or wherever you download it to. I've got a zip file here. Just extract that as you usually would. And then we can just run the installer. And it's a fairly straightforward installer, so we're just going to click on next. Now this is important. This is asking you for the location for where you want the sound library to be installed. It's going to take up about 1.5 gig initially and it may expand in the future. So make sure you save it to a drive that has plenty of space. We'll go next, accept the license. Next again, it's just going to warn you that it's going to use 1.5 gigabytes of space and then install. And when that's all done, hop into DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm on the edit tab at the moment. You can do this either within edit or within Fairlight itself. We're just going to head up to the top here and we're going to open up the sound library. And the sound library will open. It'll look something like this. Now the first thing, just to double check, click on this icon here. So open the drop down and just make sure that you've got the Fairlight Sound Library opened rather than the local database or any other sound libraries you may have used or imported. So we've got the Fairlight Sound Library here. Now, as you can see, there are no files here at the moment. If you want to search for everything within that library, just come up into your search field here, leave it on all fields and just do three stars or asterisks and it will just bring up everything within the sound library. So now you can see all of the different Foley sounds that are included. So we've got ants scurrying around, applying lotion to skin. There's all sorts of crazy things, body bumps, etc. So let's just pick on one, bullet shells. If we double click, we can just hear a preview. You can see all the sound waves up here, and then you can just use your little playhead here to play through. Now you can also do your I and O keys on here to select specific parts of the clip. So you don't need to import the whole clip you can select particular elements of it and then once you're happy you want to apply this to your timeline it's a simple case of click hold drag onto your timeline and then just release and you can add those different sound elements sound bites to your project let me just hop back into the sound library again now last quick tip if you wanted to go through and just sample some of these sounds to hear what they sound like rather than having to click on each one individually you've got these little icons here these left and right arrows and you can just scroll through them all hit play have a listen skip through to the next one just makes life a little bit easier and that's it now if you do download the sound library and create any really cool projects using the sounds within do let me know tag me below because i'd love to have a look at the awesome work that you guys can do with it thank you for watching i'll see you next time Bye.